Hello, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at some things on software today. We are going to look at um, some basic um, grading methods in software. Yeah, understanding basic software grading methods. You know, um, when you're using software, perhaps you have your data. Let's say you have your data. You have your XYZ data and you want to create a surface, a graded surface, you know, a surface that has some points that are missing interpolated out, or maybe some points that are not available, yeah, some points that are missing interpolated to form a surface, and you want to use software for it. There are different grading methods, and you know, some of these or all of these grading methods have different algorithms, have some different mathematical formula that um, builds them. And your choice for any of the grading method depends or yeah depends on the kind of research you're carrying out or maybe the kind of information or the kind of map you want to display or you want to maybe design or you want to develop. And on so far there are different grading methods: the Kriging, the triangulation with them, linear interpolation, natural neighbor, nearest neighbor, and some others. So your choice, as we said earlier. Is dependent on what you want to achieve and perhaps the algorithm or maybe the mathematical maybe relationship that are involved and maybe the product you need so we are going to show you on this video how you can come up with different um, maps how you can come up with different 3d maps with what different 3d methods and you can see that yeah the maps are actually different However, the data are the same. Yeah, however, the data are the same. So you would have to see that, okay, depending on the creating method, you would have different what different surfaces. So without spending much time, let's just try to bring in the data we are working with and let's start the business of today. So thanks for coming to class. If you've not subscribed, you can encourage us by subscribing to the channel. And if you're a new viewer, thanks for coming around. And if you're a returning viewer, Thanks for always checking up on us. So you come to grid, you go to data. Good. So under the open data dialog box, you select your XYZ data and you open, right? Good. Now, this particular section is very, very important because this is where we are going to do so many things. We are going to do so many things here. As we told you earlier, there are different grading methods. We have the words. The inverse distance to a power, we have the Kriging, the minimum curvature of modified Sheffard's method, natural neighbor, nearest neighbor, and the rest of that local polynomial. Now, when you see the Kriging, we are going to leave linked to on the description section how you can see where you can see the meaning of some of these, or let's say all of these, or most of these grading methods. So when you say Kriging, is one of the most flexible and accurate grading methods, typically the one that is recommended when grading data. Kriging is effective because it produces a good map for most data sets. So that's just a brief introduction of what Kriging is, or maybe that Kriging method. Then we also have um, the other method called nearest neighbor. Nearest neighbor is best used with um, regularly spaced data points. If the observations have a few missing data points, this method is best for filling in the holes. This method is an exact interpolator and does not extrapolate beyond the X range of the data. So that's just a brief um, introduction of what that um, nearest neighbor is. Then we also have the natural neighbor. The natural neighbor grading method is popular with data sets that have dense data in some areas and sparse data in other areas. Now, you are going to see link in the screen section where you can assess the full literature of what each of these um, grading methods are and maybe what suits your narrative. So now let's start with the Kriging, which is um, adjudged to be the best, right? Yeah, it's adjudged to be the best, yeah, and it's recommended. Now, the next thing is let's view our data to see it. Now, on our data column, we have A for the point I, therefore, we are going to change our what we are going to change our fields on the data column so let's see we are changing this to what easting we are changing this to nothing and then we are changing this to what to height right good so we have our xyz 
representing what eastern northern and height respectively right good then let's check again i think we are going to do xyz now as we told you earlier the breeding method is very very important because that's the crux of this video we are going to sample different breeding methods and then we can see or we'll see there are different 3d maps right good then where do we want to output this file let's be specific okay there's a subfolder we have reading data so let's call this um Kriegin, right because this is for creating did i spell it right this is for creating so we are creating the grid file for 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 Kriegin. remember we told you that when you have your xyz data and you want to get any surface on sofa you need to convert it to what a grid file right good so that's what we have done now then from the grid file we can now get different surfaces that we need so we save this then we say what okay that's been saved right let's now do for the other one we still come to grid we go to data this same file and we open then for the next grading method let's look at uh, the nearest neighbor right good let's still view our data and since our data column is well filled there is no problem with that now let's specify the name we have um nearest neighbor here right nearest neighbor good so that's for the grid for nearest neighbor then let's still come back at least we need maybe three or four on this video then you can actually go ahead and you know see for the other breeding methods you have on sofa right then let's see the triangulation with linear interpolation uh data column is still well filled so let's give it a name triangulation with linear interpolation right we have um triangulation with um, linear linear interpolation right let's let's just go with that save okay then let's say let's say we still need one or two more so let's see how that goes we have Kriegin, we have um, nearest neighbor we have this um, triangulation with linear interpolation let's see um, which other one let's see natural neighbor as well then let's give it a name we have a um, natural name, right? We have natural name. Let's make this big, correct? B O J U, something like that. Save and um, okay. So let's just get the fifth one. Let's get the fifth one. Then we can now have our different 3D maps displayed so which one are we using as our fifth let's use um, let's use let's use let's use moving average let's use moving average so let's output and let's call this um, moving average right sorry moving average good so we've actually created different grid files using different grading methods and we want to see the different outputs the different surfaces so we can now see that you have the same data you have different grid files because you are using different what grading methods and the interpolation and the algorithms and the mathematical relationships they are all different therefore you are going to have what different surfaces and the reason for that is dependent on what your research wants to what achieve right good so now let's come to what let's come to map let's go to new and then we wouldn't want to use a contour map 
let's use what um, 3d surface right good so the first is what creeping and we open so for creeping we have this pay attention for creeping we have this now there's a shortcut here where is the surface here this is wireframe and this is surface so you just click on this it's under this um, toolbox right so you just click on this you come towards moving average you open right so you can see the, the, the massive difference you can see the massive difference this is actually a bit rough this has been smoothened right let's come to the next one we come to natural neighbor right open the natural neighbor is a bit similar to the creeping right but they are not still the same so let's come to the next one which is the nearest neighbor right you open let's see good nearest neighbor creeping and natural neighbor are a bit similar but they are not still the same if you look at them very well then let's come to the fifth one which is the last one for this video the triangulation with um, linear interpolation let's open that good now it seems it's only this second one and what the second one it's only the second one that is a bit different from the, the rest let's confirm what the second one is the moving average it seems it's only the moving average that is a bit different from the rest otherwise the others are somewhat similar in how they work and how they appear the creeping the natural neighbor the nearest neighbor and the triangulation with what linear interpolation now this is how would i put it this is just um, a brief introduction this is actually the basics on how so far can output um, a particular data in different surfaces using different what grading methods using what different grading methods it's actually very important to have that in mind that we are actually working with what different grading methods because you can see now the surface you see here is not the same thing as the surface you see here and it's not the same thing as what the surface you see here let's change this to something different let's say we go with this um, rainbow let's say okay and let's apply and see good same thing let's do that to this just to have um, you know the depiction to be somewhat different right good we apply and then we say okay now you can see that the presentation or the representation of how it is being displayed the surfaces are actually different so now this will actually depend on or this depends on your research output or what you want to achieve so we hope we've provided solution to this particular problem solving problem thanks for coming to class if you have any issue if you have any question you can always send us a message and we are going to get back to you as soon as we can so please then subscribe to the channel like this video you can share with your friends and we are going to see you on our next video until then keep being good at what you're doing and have a nice time bye